All right, guys, this is SCV Spacebub, and I'm going to continue with the part two of the uh, game analysis. So it is the game between me and the uh, player called Zat here, which is a ZVZ. Part on these awesome uh, little... Oh, no, I don't want music. I like music. Uh, just those little, you know, namey thingies, and let's go and get them get on the game. So, it is a uh, ZBZ. As you see, I am going for the uh, uh, Extractor track because I think it's actually better than the 9 Overload. I think I think it just depends on the player, to be honest. I'm not really sure what's really that much better. If you see the uh, pro players, you do see it's actually a different uh, different limitations, and everybody does their own thing, so I do actually manage to get my uh, 11 SCVs, 13, uh, 13 uh, drones, I apologize, and we do have Zahatir also on 13, so it's pretty even. He's, uh, he's now getting one more drone than me, but I'm also getting my drone, so we are pretty even, we do both send out some scout and overloads, I suppose, and... I think this is when my first mistake comes in, is not sending my drone straight away to scout. But I am throwing down my gas straight away after my uh, spawn pool, which will enable me to get the early uh, sp speed for the uh, zerglings. And also, throwing down my uh, scouting drone at uh, 70 supply, which is quite late. Uh, so I could I could potentially work on making that work a bit earlier. I'm throwing down the uh, drone to the gas as soon as the extractor is finished. Uh, not earlier, not before that, but just on time. I don't think I really could have done it much better. I think it was actually pretty good for that time. I normally fail on that and have my drones either way too late or just stand in the way for it to finish. But I think that I'm doing it pretty well. I do have my spawn pool. I do already have 50 gas saved up, so I will be able to get that uh, early gas. And as you can see, I'm also getting my queen. I'm currently at 18, 18 supplies, so I could potentially also work on getting that overload a bit faster. But I didn't actually lose anything because that overload did come out just before my next lobby came out. And a very important thing to do as, as Zerg, when you get the Zerg speed and not intended to go any tech, make sure you pull up the uh, Zergling, the Zerglings, Zerglings mining. Drones of the uh, extractor, which will just you have those additional three drones, my minerals for you, and then you can get that uh, army of zerglings if you're gonna go for pressure a bit faster. So as you can see, I am just uh, there, making sure I actually uh, spawn the larvae uh, before taking care of the overload. I'm also trying to micro a little bit. If I go to my you know APM, I do have actually 144. That's why APM in a uh, APM in one point. So I think that's, that's pretty half decent. And this APM does the this APM. Don't know what's wrong with my speaking today, but that overload did go down. I also do have a uh, I do have a drone just cutting along, seeing what I can actually do. I am trying to make a spine crawler in this base. I'm also quite sure they're gonna lose the overload, so I did make uh, another overload just in case. I think this uh, spine crawler does go down, I did cancel it though. So I do have 400 minutes right now. I am throwing down an army of uh, speedlings. Just to make sure I can just put on some early pressure on the opponent. I do, uh, did scout, and I do know he has his hatchery way before mine. I'm only just threw mine down. As, as you can see, you know, mine's just halfway done. His is way pretty completed by now. So, I want to make sure that I can just put a little pressure. The important thing is, you know, if your opponent has a... If your opponent has the hatchery before you, make sure you either destroy it. Or you get one of your own and just make sure you can out your opponent. In this case, I do have the superior Zergling army. And I do manage to uh, do quite a fair bit of damage to that. Uh, I'm still making sure I'm macro back in the base. I do do not have the zerglings on a control group, so I guess that could potentially be a uh, important fact to do. So let's stop here. An important thing uh, when micro and macro, when you do want to have all of your army in hockey, which I'm not quite doing. So one of the mistakes that I'm doing right now is not having those zerglings in hotkey, which could potentially save uh, additional fuel, 
when I want to retreat, it will, we will it would be just faster instead of double clicking on the zerglings to just you know press four, five, whatever the hotkey is. For me, it's, for me personally, the hotkey for the enemy is three. Uh, so I will be able to just uh, move and make sure I can get away with the speeds a bit faster. So important uh, to make sure your army is on a hotkey. Just cut you know. And when you see there's a big defense, but there's an opportunity to deal damage, take it. It's you know if you don't play risky, no pain, no gain, as they say. And so I did sacrifice a few of my uh, zerglings just to kill off this queen. But kill the queen is really really good. I probably lost more mineral wise, but tactically I did gain a huge advantage. Also, gain an additional queen for defense. Defend, uh, you know, against speedlings. One spine claw in the main base plus two queens. Really powerful against uh, against speedlings. So, I see you cast again. Blockade just. Really doesn't want to leave me alone right now, does he? Uh, yeah, but I have played against Dante. So, anyway, let's get back to game analysis. I'm not really watching Excel. Like, uh, he's not really. I'm not really doing much main map looking. I should have saved that uh, speed link just by running away, but I haven't. So another thing you need to do: make sure you watch the mini map. That's what you got it for. And you know, I'm just watching them. Okay, I see. Yeah, he does have a. Uh, I do have one of the towers. I do see that he has the other. So I was doing to just see each other, you know, shout some Zerg swear words like, yeah, screech, screech, screech. So make sure you also do creep spread. Creep spread is very important as Zerg, especially the one that connects your natural uh, or your main base. Uh, just because you can just, you know, see what's going on. And that's pretty, pretty, pretty important. So I am trying to just snap the one Zerg. He does get away. Make sure you don't uh, follow your Zerg. Zerglings uh, into the base because there's no point of suicide zerglings for nothing. And also, when you feeling you're not under any uh, straightaway pressure, uh, just make sure to join up. You know, if, if you go to income tab for me right now, go to income tab. It is 28 to 24. I'm getting a, a pretty solid advantage over my opponent right now. Uh, and we also see that he's getting some. Uh, I'm getting some lat attack. You know, if if you can level up, level up, level up, tech up, go and tech up. Also, scout very important thing too because if you don't know if you if you don't know what's going on in your base, you cannot uh, counter your opponents. So I did run four zerglings with two hundred minerals. I've, four zerglings with two hundred minerals. Sorry, so hundred minerals used up to scout that my opponent does not have that many forces right now. He only has a bunch of speed links, and this means I can drone up pretty, pretty easily. So I'm throwing seven. Uh, uh, seven uh, drones just off the bat, you know, I don't care. He's not, he, I got the bad army, I can't afford to drone up and not make troops with the lab. I can just fully concentrate on getting the... On getting those uh, drones, make sure I get my economy back up. I shouldn't really say back up because it was up all the time. I'm trying to make sure I can drone up all the time. But make sure, if you see you got time, make sure to make upgrades. As you can see, I've got an evil chamber going up and also tech up. Uh, to whatever unit you want to tech up, I've seen infest, I've seen the roaches, and infestors do a pretty good job with speedlings against roaches because not only do they make sure that the speedlings can get a very easy surround since the roaches gonna move, also they do quite a fair bit of damage. So pathogen glands going down, also armor one, the ground armor one, because you know he's not gonna put me under pressure. I will not need to throw down uh, a gazillion of zerglings to defend. So. No, throw upgrades. Why? Because I can and I need to. Upgrade the troops. Always better than non-upgraded troops. That's why they give you the upgrades. Uh, make sure you you know you do have the troops that need when you need to have troops that require energy, make sure you get them early. Because the more energy you can get, the better. With the infestors, you do need to wait 20 seconds. Uh, after throwing down the pathogen glands, you need to wait 21 seconds and then throw them in infestors so that infestors do actually benefit from that additional 25 certain energy. But if you don't really if you're not going not going go that route, I do know that a few uh, people do say that there is no point of pathogen uh, glands in this situation because you can just throw them early and you know make sure that because you throw them early then you can just uh, have the energy ready. For the one big attack, so I do see some three zerglings. I do throw him down double of what he has, just to make sure he does pick up one. He does pick up one of my speedlings on this side, like 
tower and one leader, so he did lose more than me by one. Also, make sure that if you have a lot of spam minerals and gas, you go expand. I don't really have a lot of gas right now, I'm only sitting at 400 gas. But I do have a lot of uh, minerals, so I could potentially be double expander right now. Uh, but I do have a third going up in uh, the far corner. I personally do like to see uh, my expos, my third or fourth, I are generally hidden. Uh, I don't like uh, having the normal third because it's easy to attack it. Uh, and you will expect a Zerg to have the base here. I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna put my far off in the corner to make sure that the opponent doesn't know. And it's unlikely to get attacked or scouted. I just make sure I'm on top of my creep spread. Creep spread, like I said before, very important, especially uh, in ZBT or ZBP, because it can just let your Zerglings uh, go to the opponent base very, very fast. And also, an important thing to do is harassment. You know, I do have an Infestor, you yeah, know, I know, just get it, get it, some Infestor Terrans, they don't cost anything, only energy. And let's go and kill some drones, so that's two drones down line, three drones down line, four drones killed, before his army actually managed to react. Also, this gives me very important uh, scouting. We have seen that, oh, okay, he does have quite a fair bit of roaches. So I do need to be careful uh, if I want to uh, defend, or if I want to attack or not. And, you know, I don't know, he has to have lower roaches. I do need to get some better tech units, so I'm getting 6 Metalisks. Uh, I do have Pathogen, I do have uh, Zerg Attack 1 for ground coming in. And also, uh, 4 overlords, make sure there's no kid supply block. You really, know, really don't want to be a supply block. I did get supply block. So, this is another thing I should work on, is getting supply blocked. And another thing, important thing to do as... Zerg in Zerg versus Zerg is annoyance. Since I have to get Baru anyway for my investors, do this. Get one Zergling and make sure you just Baru him on expansions. If you can get one on every single expansion, then you are deny basically denying Zerg the uh, chance to expand because the only way that Zerg can get detection is obviously to morph an uh, overlord an overseer and that costs 100 gas. Hatch gas is a lot in the, this this game, this match especially, because this is the bit where most units are on the field, since Zerg is this warming race, and to replenish those, you need to have a good macro, and make sure you got a lot, a lot of uh, spam, or just make sure you can uh, throw down a 200 target army, just like that, and be able to, you know, if you lost the first fight, make sure you can just, you know, defending is the counter attack. I'm just going to carry on the game. So as you can see, I did put uh, Zerglings on his uh, sec on his third and fourth. And just make sure, you know, I'm just spreading my creep. I We do see each other's bases, basically. So the creep spread is pretty decent. My hive is halfway. Then I'm just saving up some gas uh, for my upgrades here, for my upgrades on tech. And also making sure I can work on all hatcheries. You know, what's the point of having hatchery if it's not working? So I've got three more drones coming out. I've got the second that my one upgrade is done. I don't. I don't really want to wait that long. I'm sure I can get my second one. And there you go. I can see his forces again. Yes, he is there back in his base. I also see the uh, spoke spoke crawl. I'm trying to get away, but it's a bit too slow. So when you got an infester. You shouldn't really leave it in the base unless you wanna harass that middle line. Make sure to stay there and uh, you know harass the same middle line. And if you see detection, get out of there. You don't really want to lose investors. That's really not a good thing. And that's a bit unfortunate here. He did actually see my mutas that were good for harassment, uh, but he you no. Know, there's nothing much you can really do. Make sure just move your queens and investors to one base. Whatever I could have done, I should have probably avoided the uh, funnel growth. And the moment I've seen the first pull back, I didn't do it. I was a bit too slow on my micro, and I have lost one mutilus in, in, in doing that. But uh, I am uh, taking up right now. I'm getting my ultra scav, and I'm also saving up my gas uh, to make sure when the ultra scav is complete, I can throw down the upgrade. Uh, the you know fully upgraded ultra completely annihilate nearly everything on, on the ground, and. I'm pretty positive they cannot hit any everything on the ground that Zerg can do. Uh, I'm also know that he's not really gonna be able to. Part of the pressure is gonna be getting mutas, uh, ultras. 
So I am throwing down actually 19, uh, 19 drones. I did have a huge drone wave, as you can see. I just got 19 drones. I need to just make sure. Alright, 90 drones. Uh, get my third base saturated. And I'm rocking. I've got everything I really need to. I'm throwing down as many uh, things as I actually can. I'm actually borrowing the initial Zergling uh, on Excel Naga to make sure that they don't get killed. So basically, just lost three roaches uh, and one Zergling in. For this one Zergling that was on the tower. So that was really, really bad. So make sure that as a uh, Zerg. You don't waste your units, no matter if it's uh, whatever. You just don't waste your units for nothing. And I mean, okay, you could say that suicide and zerglings because uh, you know, like I don't know, the game. Suicide zerglings just to see the expansion. If the expansion is there for scouting, that's not wasting your troops. But if you running in, let's say, five roaches to kill one zergling, and then they get surrounded by spillings and get picked off, that is a waste. Because you know you just traded five uh, roaches for one, for one speedling. It's not really not worth it. So the game carries on. I'm I th I'm thinking right now. Okay, I'm pretty good shape. I'm at 147 and 188, 182. I'm nowhere near getting supply blocked, and I'm you know I'm pretty low on gas. So when you see you got a lot of minerals, not so much gas, like me in this situation, make sure you throw them an expansion, which is exactly what I'm doing. I should have probably threw that. A bit earlier. Every time you got around six such minerals, you should be looking to expand. And I don't do that. So that's one of the main things really to work with is my uh, base, getting my bases. But I do have to go to income tab. I do have 67 drones. And problem with drones is you don't have too few, but I need to make sure you don't have too many. So I'm thinking about around 75, 80 drones is good. Anything below or above is bad because it's either too few or too many because they do eat up quite a fair bit of supply. Also, when you look at a mini map, make sure you can deal whatever damage you can. So I've just seen an opportunity to kill a free uh, creep tumor, which which is 25 energy for the queen and queen's really powerful ability of transfuse can win lose fights. So as you can see, I am getting nearly max. I do have my expo in my. I'm just thinking, yeah, you know what, well, I think I'm getting maxed up, I do need to attack, I am throwing down a drone transfer because my f main base is nearly out. Uh, and I think, you know, I think I'm in pretty good shape. And in ZVZ, a very important thing is unfortunately detection. Uh, so, when I've seen the infestation pet, I should have threw down the uh, Overseer a bit earlier. I didn't actually manage to throw down the Overseer earlier than he actually attacked, so my hive is in big trouble right now. And I do have my ultras, just trying to clean it up. Uh, the spike doing a fair bit of damage, he's still on the back line, and the hive gets saved at a 9 HP, which is literally one shot from the infested. I'm thinking I'm pretty, pretty happy right now. But as you can see, I'm getting, I, I did borrow all my drones and all my, and my queen on this expo, and which are, also had quite a fair bit of spare energy, so I did actually save uh, the. Uh, uh, make sure I can save that just by you know using transfuse. If you have spare energy and your bonus are low, transfuse them because you really don't want to lose them. Just to another cheesy thing, and it's kind of cheese. Well, harassment at least. So uh, once you do, uh, make sure you just get that army going, and once you want to move out, don't hesitate too much. Uh, if you think you got the army to do it and you've got the energy, so are the hotkeys like you see I'm doing now, infestors and whatever else I want, and just move out and clear out the creep tumors in the way. Really important uh, if you go on overseer, take them with you and clear out those creep tumors because if you uh, lose stack, then you know that's a really bad, bad thing to do. And here comes the main fight. Uh, my speedings did get fungal growth. I did leave them just down the ramp, which isn't really good. But I am trying to throw down the fungal growth. I have fungal growth quite a few times. I am getting my infestors and I am trying to fungal growth the roaches as many times as I can. I got the fungal growth. My infestors, as you can see, I've used up m most of my infested energy, unlike my uh, unlike my opponent. And also, you do see transfuse going down on the ultras. I mean, if you have spare energy, use it. As I said in the first part, 
We, whenever you've got units that got abilities and you got full energy on them, use them in a big fight. This was a big fight, and you know if you got spare energy, use it. You don't want to lose troops. So uh, yeah, I think uh, time for a summary. You know, things I could improve on uh, was certainly my upgrades. Uh, I am on three two. I probably should have been on three three right now. So as you can see, I do I do have three armor and only two. I think I've got the third on the way. No, I don't. So I should have probably have three three upgrades by now because I do have a lot of spam minerals and gas. Uh, those drones should have been obviously working, but the hatchery only got made after the attack. So I'm not quite sure because. Uh, I could just get them on a long range one, just click on the middle patch, but it would probably have been faster to wait for the hatchery to get finished, and then click them off, you know, and get back to work. Uh, and another thing I could have improved on is is the micro. Never leave your units right below the ramp because, especially if the enemy has sight, because you did have sight from the crypt units, so you don't really want it to be doing this. What I should have done was to rally here and then move in because then the since it's the Speedings are so fast, it's quite possible that the first Fangor would have been missed, and this speedings would have been basically been a one shot because it does do 35 da 36 damage, and uh, it does basically leave your uh, speedings to be one shot. Uh, another thing, I think my macro was pretty good that game. I did do this all the scout that I needed, I knew what was going on, I've seen everything that was going on. Uh, I knew that that was a roach warrant, by the way, because the first scouting guy did see it getting made, and then, you know, just to prove it, there you go, I did see the roach. I didn't actually see the spire go up, so maybe I should have used the, uh, a good trick to use is if you got an overseer, use chain links. Uh, but I only made them just before the main fight, so I guess I should have had the overseer earlier, like I said, and if I had the overseer earlier for detection, I would also be able to do chain links, which are really, really good for scouting purposes. Other than that, uh, maybe a bit more sniping those uh, overloads with my mutas. You know, just do a bit more harassment in ZVZ. You do want to harass your opponent and make sure he can't drone up. But apart from that, yeah, I think I've done pretty well that game. This was probably like high. It is a high gold, low platinum. I think my opponent is actually low. Uh, it's actually platinum. So uh, thanks, guys. This was SCV Space Burp.